Good morning, and welcome to the online classes of Bishop Escott Boys School. I'm going to teach you chemistry of standard 10. And we begin with a chapter which you're very familiar with, well acquainted with, periodic table. Now in class nine, you have done the various classifications uh, of elements according to the periodic table. You have done, gone uh, around the history of periodic table, like the law of triads, then octaves, Newland's law of octaves, then Mendeleev's contribution, and finally the periodic table, the modern periodic table. Certain terms we will discuss before we start with the properties. We are not going to recapitulate the rest. Certain terms we'll start with. First of all, periodic properties. What is meant by periodic properties? And why it is called periodic properties? You know that what does the modern periodic law say? The modern periodic law says that the chemical and physical properties of elements are the function of their atomic number, periodic function of the atomic number. So what is meant by the periodic properties? It means that the properties appear after a certain interval of time, periodically. And due to this, it is called periodic properties. What are these properties? And now why is this periodicity caused? What is the cause of the periodicity? Cause is the electronic configuration. The electronic configuration or the valence electron, the number of valence electron, it keeps on reappearing after a certain interval of time. And due to this, the chemi you know that the chemical properties are all dependent on the valence electron. If the valence electrons are same, then the properties are also same. So recurrence of the same a similar electronic configuration is responsible for the repetition of the properties. And this is called, these properties, hence they are called periodic properties. And the phenomenon is called periodicity. Atomic size depends on nuclear charge, and number of shells. So we will see that the, if the nuclear charge increases, then in that case what happens? As the nuclear is grow, nucleus is growing more and more powerful, the nuclear charge is increasing, the shells are drawn towards the nucleus, pulled. The outermost shell is pulled towards the nucleus. So the size decreases. Nuclear pull increases and the size decreases. And what happens if the nuclear charge increases? Nuclear charge means the positive charge. In nucleus, the protons reside. So if the nuclear charge increases, means the protons, more and more protons are added up to the nucleus. And the pull also will increase because it is the positive charge which is pulling the electron towards itself. Next is the number of shells. How does number of shell affect? As the number of shells keep on increasing, the size of the atom will keep on increasing. Size of atoms keep on increasing. See, if there is only one shell like this, then this is the atomic radii. Now, what is atomic radii? It's the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell, that is the valence shell. That is atomic radii. Now, if there is only a single shell, the atomic radii is small. If there is two shells, then naturally the atomic radii is bigger. If there are three shells, still more bigger. So as the number of shells increase, the size of the atom increases. Nuclear charge increases, the valence shell is drawn towards. So the size decreases. Number of shell increases, the size 
increases. Now we'll see the trend across a period and down a group, what happens. See, across a period. You've taken the second period over here, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. In the second period, the electron, differentiating electron, you know that as, the, as we are moving from left to right, the atomic number is increasing by one unit. Okay. So if the atomic number, this is lithium is 3, beryllium is 4, this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, atomic number is increasing by one count. That means the magnitude of positive charge is also increasing by one count. So the magnitude, as we move across a period from left to right, the magnitude of positive charge increases. And the differentiating electron is added to the same shell. This is 2, 1, electronic configuration of beryllium, 2, 2. This is 2, 3. This is 2, 4. This is 2, 5. 